here with Troy Thompson, and this is your very first year doing this for the Golden Globes, correct? Yes, for the Beverly Hilton it is, yes. So what's it like putting this menu together? What was on your mind as you were you know, thinking about what would be a good, a good meal for this, for this year's event? Um, more than anything, it was with you know, w what we have here. We have a lot of history at the Beverly Hilton. Um, we have a new um, Waldorf Astoria going up in front. So it's kind of the old with the new. So um, we're thinking about what can be brought to the table with fresh, you know, that are classics and with a, a little modern feel to it. And can you describe to me here what we're looking at? Sure, sure. Um, our, our, we're not looking at it, but it's our, our first course is our salad. It's, a, it's the modern Waldorf salad that, we, that we're putting on. It's an organic head of, of romaine lettuce. It's a farmer, you know, it's from our local farms. Um, instead of the heavy mayonnaise and, and all the stuff chopped up together, we... Wait a minute, you don't think that the starlets are going to want to have heavy food yeah, on the night? No, no. And I don't want to give them heavy food either. I'm, I, you know, those are things that I replace the, the, the mayonnaise with an emulsion. So it's just a whipped lemon juice, basically, dressing. So um, we changed it up a little bit. Um, our entree is a, a, a onion marinated beef tenderloin. Um, we put it in the onions because um, once you roast it, you get this like incredible roasted onion flavor to it. So is it like an onion marmalade that you roast it in, or is do you marinate it beforehand? How does it's it work exactly? Basically, you take uh, uh, white onions and you put it in a food processor and you get the liquids going. Yeah. So y there's a lot of juice involved with it, and it's just uh, you still have onions when you when you roast it, but it it gives this incredible flavor of caramelization going on. Okay, my mouth is literally watering right now. And then we slow roast our, our Arctic char, very slow. We put an heirloom tomato compote and an heirloom tomato, cherry tomato salad on the bottom, uh, a kale chip and a, and a potato croquette. So, so a really nice combination of old and new, as you were saying, the kale representing the new steak, very traditional. I think so. And then we have also our, our uh, vegetarian dish. It's a, a, a ricotta um, cannoli. And what we do with it, we stuff it with Parmesan cheese and, and, and basil, and, and we wrap it up, hand, uh, handmade uh, saffron pasta, tomato sauce, and extra virgin olive oil. On top is California vegetables, uh, l very thinly sliced olive oil, lemon juice. I am, I am all ready for lunch right now. Oh, there you go. Um, so one last question. So for the folks who are watching at home and are not sadly going to be able to taste your handiwork right. at the Globes themselves, but want to add some glitz and some glamour or a sure. taste of the Globes to their own viewing party, what do you recommend? Hmm. Uh, a bowl of popcorn and, and, a, yeah. and a nice chair. Um, <laughs> I think, uh, you know, for, for anything, I think what we get away from this m menu is, okay. is kind of a refreshing. Uh, we, let the, we let the products sing basically we work together everybody has farmers markets around here this is a great place for that um, just go out and treat things very simple you know like I said there's a lot of olive oil and, and, and lemon juice involved with a lot of things so we just keep the flavors to, to speak so well thanks so much for the tips and good luck with the gloves this year thank you I appreciate it